Hey guys, so my name is Diego Elizares, and I've been in the industry for roughly about 20 years. I am known in this industry for a 3D highborn. I feel like that's one of the haircuts that really calibrated me to the next level as far as that artist that did creative haircuts. So when my client asked for the highborn, I envision the, the design or the lines or the parts anywhere before I do it. So when I'm doing that with my finger, I have to really incorporate their facial features and their strong points as far as where their corners are at. You know, if it's the corner of the eye, you know, bringing the line from there and making it go all the way around because it will make the overall haircut look a lot better as opposed to just adding random lines that don't really go or flow. Um, so you have to look at the facial features and things like that to really incorporate those lines. So right here, I'm using an Andis T outliner and I'm just sharpening the edges, the top and the bottom of the line, just making it really crispy. So that way I don't have to do as much razor work as I need to. Per se, here I'm just trying to get it as sharp as I possibly can. As you're doing it, you're essentially creating that art piece, right? You're using your clippers as your paintbrush and you're bringing it to life little by little. And just really making those lines super sharp and clean is, is satisfying. It does take some skill, although it is a very simple design, it does take some skills. So here I am adding the line above it that's gonna separate the fade from the design that's gonna give it that illusion that it's, its design is popping out and creating that 3D effect. So here's where it gets tricky. So you have to flip your, your clipper on the opposite end and use only the corners of the clipper, which is like three or four teeth. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just scooping up to get that nice thin sharp line because if this line were to get any thicker, it can possibly mess up the effect of the 3D look. So now I'm using a different clipper here, which is a wall senior, and I'm beginning to fade out on top of those lines that I created on top of the design. I'm just using small little strokes to get a nice little fade to give it that illusion and make that darker that's there in between those lines, give it more of a contrast, more of a darker look by fading the outsides of the design. So on this area here, I'm only gonna use the corner of the clipper, which is the Andes T outliner going up and then flip the clipper upside down to fade going downwards. Yes, you have to be creative and yes, you have to be good with your clippers, but you have to just let it flow and let the clippers do the work. So in this clip here, I'm using the same T-outliner clipper to slowly scrape downwards to create a soft blend, as soft as I possibly can. These trimmers are aggressive and if you apply too much pressure, you will leave a demarcation line. So what I'm doing is I'm just scooping out softly around the design. If you can see here, it almost looks like it's starting to come to life, the design, right? So to get that 3D effect is very, very hard. But for me, I've been doing designs for such a long time that I can look at this piece in particular and say, it's right around the middle of how hard things can get when it comes to designs and things like that. What the highborn is leading into is it's going to wrap around the head and there's three lines and it's a small pocket to work these fades. So the technique has to be very, very, very carefully fading in between those pockets. And in order to get a, a small fade in, in a small pocket like that, you have to use a level to open and close it. So when you push the leveler down, you're essentially expanding the clipper, the blade, you're leaving more hair. When you bring it up, you get the blade closer and you take off more hair that way. So this highborn design in particular is 3D. So there's different renditions of it, but as long as the main design is there, you can mess around with the haircut, add fades in between and incorporate it to the longer hairstyles up on top. And in this area here, I am using the corner of my clipper just to get a nice T hook around the side of the head using only the corner. And notice that this clipper is very sharp, so it, it almost gives me an ash line as I do the hook along the head. And then here I'm doing the hairline, and it's very important to get a nice, straight, crispy hairline to really make the overall hair haircut pop. Uh, there is a lot of lines going on here, so the straighter they are, the sharper they are, the better it's going to make the haircut look. And then clipper over comb, it's uh, very important here because you have to try to create a nice shape along the side of the head. And I have no guard on my clipper. So the comb acts like a guard. It almost protects me from going in too much. And then here I'm freehanding on the opposite side where there's more hair. I'm essentially sculpting here. So I have to be very careful with the clipper. I have to keep a steady hand and use only the flat blade to really help me create that nice straight square shape on the side. What I'm doing here is I'm point cutting deep in so I can remove some weight to be able to style my client's hair a lot better. His hair is kind of heavy on top. So I have to point cut 
going in to remove some of that hair so I can have more control over it. But this client here in particular has great hair for designs because he does have thick, dark hair. And his type of hair is a lot better than using somebody that has less dense or lighter hair. Now here with the straight edge razor, you have to be very careful. You have to be stretching out the skin in whatever areas you're gonna shave at with the razor because you can cut somebody if you don't. And I'm using most of the blade here to create that nice straight line. I don't think I've had any client that didn't like their highborn design or any design. That for me is super satisfying because you know it's a lot of work to do a design like that and then for them to be happy with the end result, it's the best. And one of my things that I've always stuck to was do something that you love every day, that you would do it every day for free and then find somebody that would pay you for it. That's a famous quote by DJ AM. And I found barbering, I fell in love with it and I turned it into a profession and now I get paid top dollar for it.